Hey everyone, uh, how's it going today? Um, I wanted to give you guys an update on my mom here. Um, just wanted to give you guys, let you guys know what was going on because you guys are, I consider you guys my family out there in the small engine community and all that. So, um, you know, I figure it's better than uh, typing a community post and putting it up there. But um, let me just give you guys an update of what's going on with my mom uh, right now as we speak. Um, tell you, I know I, told, I put that post up there, but I'll just tell you guys how it all, you know, started out and, and uh, where, we're, where we're at in the situation. Um, New Year's Eve. Actually, this has been going on a while, but it just, it's been going on since then. She's been having issues where she runs to the bathroom a lot. We never could figure out why. And, um, at the time, you don't think nothing of it, but, you know, this, you just think it's a, this a normal thing. Well, it was starting to get to the point where she wasn't having a bowel movement. And, um, we, uh, I took her to a mini clinic, you know, instead of a hospital. Well, they, you know, just told her, you know, try to drink some Gatorade because she was having, being weak, she was weak. She wasn't able to get out of the bed. She would, you know, have to go... She would get up for a while and have to go back to the bed. Go out, get up for a while, have to go back to the bed. And she was in pain. So, you know, they told, they tried to build her up, like telling her to drink Gatorade, maybe some toast, bananas, rice, and all that. <coughs> she tried some of that, didn't work. Um, Monday, I get home, and um, mom's like, this is not getting worse. Maybe I need to go to the ER and see what's going on. So, I take her to Hendersonville uh, Hospital to the emergency room. And um, we get her in there. My mom's telling her what she's got at the point. My mom is a tough person. I had to go get her a wheelchair. She wasn't able to walk. She was so weak. So, I had to wheel her into the, into the hospital in the, one of the wheelchairs there. Got there at 4 o'clock that afternoon. Um, we ended up staying there all night. But anyway, we get there originally, you know, they check her in and they start doing, checking everything out on her, see what's going on. They go, well, we're going to see it, get, put you on a CT scan, see what's going on. So they put a CT scan on her. Now I'm the only one that's there time because my sisters are, you know, they're with their, their, their families and stuff. So I, I went there, I took my mom there and my dad was at home because of we don't want him around with, you know, in the hospital with his cancer and stuff going on, you know, so he doesn't get any further sick. But anyway, uh, I get her there. They do the CT scan. They come back. They go, um, well, we found an issue with you. Okay. At that time, they go, well, we found a bladder stone. And I've never really heard of a bladder stone. I've heard of kidney stones, but i never heard of a bladder stone. At that time, the bladder stone was the size of a cue ball. There, there was an issue there. And I said, okay. So they were trying to give her some stuff to, you know, kind of help her with the pain and all that. You know, morphine and all that. Did that. Um, the next doctor came in. Uh, I ended up being there all night. Uh, the Unfortunately, the, emergency, the, the hospital was so full with some people being sick from RSV and some other sickness that they had no rooms available. So we had to stay in the ER the whole night in that one triage room. So my mom was able to lay on the bed. Unfortunately, I had nowhere to lay down. So I tried to lay down on a hard floor, laying on top of her clothes, you know, to try to sleep a little bit because I had worked that previous day. So they come in the next morning. I couldn't sleep very much. I maybe slept an hour at that at that time because, you know, sleeping on a hard floor would not nothing but what i was wearing here <laughs> i was wearing this hoodie that day so um the urologist comes in and they find out some more issues they go you know now they found out the it's a great they did an ultrasound too at the same time but then they start noticing she only not only had a bladder stone it actually start growing to a size of a grapefruit now she has that but in 2017, my mom had a stent put in because her passageway to 
to go was uh, like a size of a pencil. It wasn't like a normal area, so they tried to use a stent to stretch it out. Well, a stent like that is only supposed to be in there a minimum of three months. And my mom never went to go get it done, so she has a stent in her that's from seven years ago. That is a issue right there that has to be removed. Then she has, and the reason she got the stent, that's actually the, the reason right there is why she has the, the bladder stone, they said also, because that stent is in the way. The stent has actually caused the, her to have the bladder stone. So that's that's an issue there. So not only does she have the bladder stone, the stent that she had in there that wasn't supposed to be in there now is causing the bladder stone. And um, then on top of it all, the reason, then she, my mom was, uh, had a, you know, they told her that she had a, a kidney that wasn't functioning. Well, that's true. She does have a kidney that's not functioning. At the time then, seven years ago, it was only functioning 13%. Right now she's functioning on one kidney because they said the other kidney is basically not non-existent. It has to be removed. So not only my mom's gonna have to have a surgery to have the bladder stone removed, but she's gonna have to have another surgery, not only to get the stent out of there if they can get it out of there, but she's gonna have to have that, I think it's her left kidney removed as well. So. That's the issue right there. My mom's probably basically going to be looking at three surgeries to have. But the only bad problem is she's had a severe UTI as well. And there's a lot of bacteria infections. So right now, until they get the infection out, they can't really do anything. I mean, that's, that's you know pretty much a no-brainer there. So, but at least it's going to take about a couple of weeks to probably even get this out. They said maybe if that, to get all that. Uh, they're trying to feed her a lot of antibiotics. They're, they're trying to find out which one that's going to be good enough to, to, to help her out. Um, and then we're going to look at possibly getting a, a surgery day set for at least getting the bladder stone out. And then we'll work our way up to the kidney being out and see if they, there's a way to get the stent out. They said the stent is going to be the challenging one more because of how, long, how long it's been in there there so um, yeah with uh, everything going on with my dad and then now um, this issue ar arose with my mom now it's, I mean <laughs> unfortunately 24 2024 has not been a great start I mean I know it's probably been sticking around longer but now unfortunately Rose's ugly head there so I mean this could have been avoidable but you know you're talking about seven years ago when that stent was put in and you know who knows what was going on seven years ago at that time that I didn't you know we never thought twice of it but anyway you know it's neither here or there now it's something's got to be taken care of if possible so um not only like I said we're dealing with the stuff the cancer issue with my dad he's got to go next week Oh, excuse me. They moved this date up uh, to get the, the, he's got like two spot cancer spots on his brain, but they said they can wipe that out with one radiation treatment. It's a 30 minute process. He's got to wear some kind of mask when he does this there. So he's going next Monday for that. And um, I got jury duty to go to next, this following Monday here on the 8th. So, um, yeah, it's just one thing after another, and then, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's been rough, it's been rough, it's, it's, you know, it's, not, see, like I said, not, not only my uh, dad's been dealing with this cancer, now, now this issue's going on with my mom, and, you know, it's not easy to do, because, like I said, I, I work a full-time job, and then, you're, you're basically, right now, I'm, I'm the one-man show, in a way, I'm, I'm having to try to take care of everything and it's kind of it's uh, I'm trying not to cry but you know in a way it's been it's been messing with me not only emotionally but mentally because it's like you know what what do you do 
I'm trying to I'm trying to think positive on the situation, but it's like you you question yourself how. And um you know what's what's the reason behind all this? Because I I'm th I'm thinking at the end of the day. I'm sorry. I'm, I was hoping I could do this without crying. It's not working so far. <coughs> but you know, it's it's it, it, I'm not gonna sit there and sugarcoat it. it. It's been messing with me emotionally and mentally. Because like I said, I'm trying to work full time to try to keep everything going. And then, like I said, I'm trying to. I, I my my sisters try to take care of most of it, but you know it. They only do it from. They, I mean, they have their own lives. They have their own kids and 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 stuff to take care of, and they they still try to do it. And I applaud them for doing that. You know, but you know, I live with my folks still. I never got out on my own still, and uh, you know, I'm, I live with them, so I'm. My sisters only see it from the outside part. I see it from the inside part because I live with my folks. So I see this stuff happening there. So it's like, you know, it's, it, it, it has, it has taken my toll on me, but I, I try to, you know, keep going and all this stuff. And, um, it, it's been rough. It's, it's, that's no lie. It's been rough. And, um, I know I don't I don't I don't ask for much and I I don't really ask for much at all for anything but um just keep us in your thoughts and prayers that's all I ask and um that's pretty much what we need right now we just need some prayers and we can, we can hopefully enough um get through this and uh hopefully enough um everything will be you know, sort of back to normal. It just uh, feels weird right now with everything. I didn't want to make this video, but I figure it's a easier to me make a video to tell you guys what's going on than me just, you know, being a keyboard cowboy on there and typing it all out on a community post because it's more easier telling somebody in person what's going on than me sitting there just typing it out telling you all what's going on but anyway um thank you guys for supporting me and um i call you guys my family and uh i appreciate you guys being there for me and checking on me and all that stuff and you know thank you guys for getting on that community post and Sending me your prayers and stuff, and you know we're gonna we're gonna need it there, and we'll we'll get through this some way somehow. So um, but um, thank you guys, just support us. That's all I ask. This just send us a prayer. That's all I ask. But um. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, get off here. And you guys, um, I hope you guys had a happy new year. And um, uh, thank you guys for supporting me here. And uh, I'm just going to uh, hope you guys just have a good rest of the day, okay? God bless you all. And um, you know, just keep your prayers up for us, okay? So you guys have a good rest of the day now, okay? Thank you.